This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 8th of October. I'm James Spann. The clouds are departing. This afternoon is expected. Let's get in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots. Hey, first off, how about this shot? Ooh, doesn't look good. Heavy snow falling in the mountains of West Virginia. Their first snow of the season. Nice image of that uh, sent in today. That's one of the uh, ski resorts up there. All right, around here, that's the uh, Trustville Sky Cam. Still mostly cloudy, but we're starting to see some blue spots there in the, uh, in the sky as the clouds begin to thin out. And look at Tuscaloosa. The sky there has gone partly sunny. And you go farther south, and there's hardly a cloud in the sky. That's our Sky Cam on top of the Nabopolis Civic Center. And I was actually in that building this past uh, weekend on Saturday night. Well, there's the deal. The uh, clouds are still hanging tough over northeast Alabama, where they're barely out of the 40s this afternoon. We've got broken clouds over northwest Alabama into the south, clear as could be across uh, the southern counties of the state. And you can see the difference. you got Fort Payne at 52. They're socked in with low clouds, but down where the sun is shining, Montgomery is sitting at 71. Uh, Birmingham at 59, but everybody will see warmer temperatures in the days ahead. Frost and freeze advisories up tonight from parts of Kentucky up into uh, New York State. And, you know, there could be a few little spots, the colder pockets of northeast Alabama, that might see a touch of frost early tomorrow, but most places will not experience that. Uh, rain, nothing here for the next five days, valid through uh, Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, and looks like a, a relatively dry period setting up for Alabama, at least for the next seven days, which is very typical for the month of October. This is the driest month of the year on an average basis. Tropical weather, a couple of uh, disorganized uh, little waves out in the Atlantic, nothing uh, seemingly organized at this point, and things are pretty quiet. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Strong troughing uh, over the northern plain states tomorrow, and down below that, a new surge of cool air comes down the pike. Uh, by golly, there could be some snow in parts of Wisconsin and Minnesota. And guess where I'll be tomorrow? In, in Madison, Wisconsin. Maybe I'll see a snowflake or two. But down here, just gorgeous. Uh, sunny. Uh, the weather starts to warm up nicely. Most locations tomorrow should see a high right around 70. Uh, the NAM is at 69. The GFS at 71. Wednesday, mostly sunny and warmer. Highs in the mid-70s. Thursday, looks nice and sunny. We might... Uh, uh, temperatures back off a little bit as that secondary surge of cool air drops in. High should be in the uh, low to mid 70s. And then Friday, we warm up to near 80. Little weak boundary north of here. We'll start uh, looking at the weekend here. This is Saturday. Very dynamic and intense shortwave over the nation's midsection. But around here, a 588 ridge is the story. So that uh, should be a warm and dry day with highs uh, probably over 80. We'll say low 80s with a good deal of sunshine. Uh, and then Sunday, uh, a boundary, a surface front is near Memphis, and that might kick off a shower there. But Sunday looks dry here. We might mention a slight chance of a shower Sunday night with that feature, but there will be hardly any moisture to work with. Bottom line is Sunday looks pretty nice, partly sunny, the high close to 80. And Monday, the front just kind of fizzles out. The rain is well off to the west, and we should stay dry. Let's check the end of the forecast. This is uh, October 24th. And Hey, you know, the, the maps we showed you this morning for this period had a big deep trough and a cold air shot. Well, now we've got a warm ridge over us. And if that's right, that would be very warm for the season. But, uh, hey, obviously no confidence with every model run looking different out there. We're just looking for trends. And clearly at this point, there are not any. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be, let's see, Friday morning. I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin for the National Weather Association annual meeting through midweek. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the video updates for the next three days. And again, I'll be back a Friday morning here. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.